Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achana. Welcome to episode 70, freaking 70 of game programming. So, last time we took a look at actually animating this awesome freaking projectile and this is what it looks like, so that's freaking great. Now, today, we're going to take a look at actually freaking not shooting grass, but shooting an actual projectile. Isn't that going to be so much better? It is. Trust me. Okay, so that's literally all, all we're going to do today, right? Our objective is to change this grass thing into a texture. So, how are we going to do that? Well, pretty, pretty awesomely. That's how. Pretty damn awesome. That's, that's freaking what it's going to be. So we've got this class called SpriteShade.java. It is in, if I just undo this, it is in, let's just undo the play shooting thing. And there goes everything. Um, actually, I'll just find it here. So it's in, um, if I remember correctly, I think it's, it would be in graphics, right? Yeah. So in graphics, we've got a thing called SpriteShade.java. Sweet, let's open that. So over here, we've got a bunch of code for tiles and spawn level, right? And if you guys recall, we do have a bit of a hierarchy going on. We've got... um. We've got, in our resources folder, we've got levels, which has our level files, and we've got textures. And in textures, we've got sheets. And in sheets, we've got spawn level, and this is just a sprite sheet. But we've got spawn level, right? And that's responsible for all of our spawn stuff. So over here in sheets, right, let's create a um, new... Should I have in sheets? We should really change some of these names, right? Because they don't make any sense. Um, but textures, sheets... Okay, in sheets, we'll just have one called um, projectiles, right? And over here we'll make a um, new one, so we'll make a new, uh, and we'll make it, let's just say projectiles, oh well, it depends who's projectiles, but let's just um, make it what it is now, which is just, this one's 48 by 48, so let's make the other one the same thing, right, so each tile is 16, uh, and let's save it into projectiles as, oh, I don't know, um, maybe just... Uh, well, since we're doing wizard ones, we'll call them wizard, okay? So those are the wizard projectiles. Um, and let's do a few things. First of all, let's just uh, figure out how big these guys should be. So that means this should be, I believe, this stuff here. Um, and here. And here, not to forget, here, um, and 16 by 16, so here, all right, correct, okay, let's pop these guys down, uh, and then we can probably just pretty much copy and paste this, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I've got a bunch of sprites we can draw. Um, now, one thing that we've talked about, and, well, you would have seen it in our normal sprite shape, um, transparency, right? So we made transparent color pink, or in, I mean, to be exactly specific, we made it um, this color, FF00FF. So just remember that. Okay, because we obviously want to, you know, maintain consistency in our program and um, make stuff pink anyway. So let's just for now, let's just, you know, let's just be cool right now. Let's not jump into massive, um, you know, projectile, uh, like hours spent on projectiles, like drawing them properly. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm just going to make a ball, right? And it will look like a ball when it's done, don't worry. Can't even center stuff correctly. Okay, whoops. So, I'll probably just take out... Um, does that look good enough? Or should we make it even higher res? We could make it even higher res, couldn't we? And what I mean by that is... You know, something like that. Something like this. Yeah, let's do it like this. That will look nice. Why not? There we go. So this will be our um, sprite. So this is what a projectile will look like, just for now. Okay, we'll, we'll probably change this later. I'll show you guys how to both animate it and rotate it um, in game, depending where, where we shoot it. But for now, we'll just leave it at that. So let's make a new sprite shape, um, and we'll call it um, projectile wizard. Okay, and that will be in sheets projectiles, right, the hierarchy that we just made, um, and it is a wizard, 
dot png and the size is 48 right same as the other one because our width as you see right here is 48 um okay sweet so we've got a new static sprite sheet now now we, now we can use it as if it was any other sprite so what, what we'll do over here is if we go into projectile um over here you'll see that we've got a um wizard projectile right that's what we're doing right now we're using now right now we've set the sprite to sprite.grass all we have to do now is go into our sprite um and all we need to do here is let's put uh so we've got player sprites over here um projectile sprites here and then over here we'll just make a public static let me just scroll off so you guys can see probably public static sprite um projectile wizard equals new sprite um okay so what's all this stuff so 32 is the size is that no sorry that's 16. 16 is the size uh, X and Y is just 0 over 0, and the sprite sheet that we used is sprite sheet dot projectile wizard, okay? And that's it. That is as simple as it is. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just checking to see if everything's right. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so that's it. That's just how simple it is. So over here in wizard projectile, in wizard projectile instead of setting sprite to sprite dot grass, we can set sprite dot sprite, sprite dot projectile wizard, and that's it. And if we run our game, what you should see is us shooting a bunch of pink things that do resemble our sprites. So that's good news. Um, now, one thing that's not good news is, um, well, the fact that they're, they've got pink on them. And there's nothing wrong with pink, okay, guys? But it's bad in this sense. So let's do the same thing that we did here, right? Literally the same. So in, so this is in our render tile. Okay, you guys didn't catch this method, did you? Um, this is what the method looks like, all right? So copy this down, because I saw a bunch of you guys were saying that I didn't write this in front of you. I'm not sure why I wouldn't have, but, um, you know, I'm trusting you guys more than myself. So if you guys d didn't actually catch this method, it's this is what it looks like, okay? So it's just um, rendering a tile. It's, I think it's the same as um, render tile. Yeah, you, you can actually copy and paste render tile. Um, in fact, let's, okay, let's do something different. Render, render projectile. I'm going to name it render projectile. We shouldn't be using this anyway. Let's just see if this worked. We shouldn't be. Okay, yeah. We're only using it, as you can see, in um, with a projectile. That's good. So I'm basically just making a new method here called render projectile. It's the same as render tile. So let's copy and paste that, basically. Um, and instead of sprite, sprite, uh, sorry, instead of here being tile, tile, we'll make it projectile p, right? And p dot sprite dot size okay p dot sprite dot size um, and same thing everywhere except um, let's import this first of all okay so first of all okay this is yep yeah, okay cool let's go into projectile and let's just um make a method here called public sprite get sprite and it will just return a sprite okay uh, and we can probably also make public int get sprite size and it will return sprite dot size okay so just make it really simple for us so over here all we need since we use um, sprite size a lot get sprite size okay so let's copy and paste that everywhere we had size before. Um, and, and yeah, we'll just use get sprite here. And by get sprite, I mean p dot get sprite, of course. Because we're referring to our projectile. Okay, sweet. So that, that's, this looks pretty good. Um, one thing that we'll do though is we'll set, again, we'll make the color equal to this. And we'll set color equal here. So all I've done here is I've just made an, uh, a variable out of it. And I'll just say that if color happens to, oh, well, if color doesn't equal um, that color, which is with, with the alpha channel, so FF, FF, 00, FF, right? So this is the pink color, and this is just the alpha channel. Um, then draw that, okay? So let's, oops. let's go back to our wizard projectile and change this to render projectile. And instead of sprite as the parameter, we'll just have this. Okay, so let's uh, run that and check that out. We are shooting black balls that look really bad. <laughs> uh, let's go back into our texture quickly and maybe just add a 
bit of a twinkle to it, okay? So, maybe like a little gray, something like that, just to make it like a bit, you know, that still looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Right, now if there are any artists out there who desperately want to help me stop embarrassing myself, please let me know, okay? That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so that is that wraps up this tutorial. As you can see, we've got a nice little sprite now. Uh, next time, we're going to talk about, uh, well, first of all, fixing these angles. You can see that I'm aiming here. If I want to aim a bit lower, it doesn't change until it goes there. So in other words, it's not like preci precision direction. So we'll fix that next time. We'll also probably put a limit on how fast we can shoot them. You can see we're shooting them really fast. Um, and also, we're not destroying them, so our, F our FPS is going down. But yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new episode. Later, guys.